Hello, and welcome back to my 1.5 plus tutorial. Last time we made off, we had just made a crafting bench, and I'm sorry about the sun. I had to go. It was getting late. I was getting tired, and I really needed a sandwich. Don't judge me. Anyway, so next I'm going to show you how to make tools to mine everything in Minecraft. And so what you want to do is you want to click this like you're placing a block. It opens up this. I think I already showed you that. You want to take your oak planks and we need a tool. Preferably a wooden pickaxe. But we don't have a handle. So you do this and we get sticks. And sticks can be used to make all the tools, not ju not just sticks alone, but they can be used. So what you want to do is you want to put two sticks like that. Oh, and by the way, in 1.5, the newest version that just came out, if you if you left click or right click and drag, you'll like you'll drag like that. So that's that's new and that's pretty cool. So to make a pickaxe, you'd want to do this, and this is the formation of every type of tool that you make. Only you would use what you want to make the pick out of. Say you want to make a stone pickaxe, put stone there. Say you want to make a diamond pickaxe, put diamond there. Say you want to make a gold pickaxe, put gold in there. And all, all the types of pickaxes. So then you click this, and voila, you got a stone pick. So what I want to do is I want to make sort, sort of um, a hideout, a bandit camp, a uh, shelter. So I don't so none of the mobs try to chew my skin off while I try to breathe and everything. So what you want to do is, when you first meet stone and you have nothing, you know, you punch it, it doesn't break that fast. And when it does break, it doesn't drop anything. But when you have a pickaxe, not only does it mine faster, but it drops cobblestone. So I'm sorry if it's a little bit laggy right now. Um, I'm Not only am I running fraps, but... I'm also uploading a video, so I'm sorry if it's a little bit lag. So what I want to do is I just want to get maybe uh, 20 cobblestone to make as much cobblestone as I st tools as I can. <coughs> sorry about that. <coughs> so just make a three by three by two hideout. 20 stone. There we go. So then you want to go back here and see. And let's make, you know, a wooden pickaxe isn't enough to cut it. We need a stone pickaxe. See? Stone pickaxe. And pickaxes aren't the only tool that you can make. You can also make... You can make... Wait, you can make axes... You can make shovels, and you can make swords to defend yourself. So now we Sorry, got some little technical difficulty there. Um, I hit F9 by accident. Sorry. Um, so yeah. So like I was saying, if anyone tries to kill us, we can just go. No, you don't. Hit them with a sword, and they'll run off crying. Not really, unless it's an animal or a peaceful mob. So now we want to get inside. So you want to take your axe, and the crafting bench is mined much faster than if you do it by hand with an axe. This is like wood. So then you go, and I'm just moving it in here. So bam, you got a crafting bench. So right now I'm gonna make a chest because you know it's I don't want to lug everything around. It's too heavy. So I made a chest. So and chests necessarily hold items so say you didn't want to carry around saplings you just shift click and it goes straight in there same thing with dirt any any blocks anything you can put in here but once it gets full you have to expand it by putting another chest next to it which I'll cover that later in a video <coughs> <coughs> sorry so now well, now we really need food, so I'm going to make a basic food. I'm not used to spawning in this kind of biome, but I'm going to go over one source of food. So 
one source of food which I find reliable if you're starving and you're in a swamp or a mushroom biome, but those are rare. Very rare. Like, I think they're rare as biome. So, as these are bowls. Or in the nether, which, again, later tutorial. So, you make bowls with three oak planks arranged so, and you get four bowls. So then, with bowls, you can't eat the bowls. If you try to eat a bowl, you're probably going to get a splinter, then you're going to have to go to the doctor, or, or um, dentist, or something. I don't know who you go to. So, yeah, don't try to eat the bowl. So what you want to do necessarily is you see this you see these brown mushrooms break it and then it drops this mushroom and you can't put it back because mushrooms can only be grown in dim places. See if you try to pull it put it in the sun it's not going to work. But you can put it under here and it works. So and you need two kinds of mushrooms to make a mushroom stew. So now I'm going to get the red mushroom. And I want to get a couple of these so I don't starve. And I'm not used to being near a swamp because that's like, that's a lot of food If in the swamp. It's pretty, I, I kind of find it a little bit OP just because there's so much food. But yeah, and then to craft it, it doesn't matter how you place it. You can put the bowls up here, these up here, these up here. As long as you have bowls, mushroom, and two types of mushrooms and then you can bring it out and poof and then you have bowls so the cool thing about I think about mushroom stew is that when you eat it it restores three little food food bars and you eat the bowl so you don't have to waste so much wood and you don't yeah like I said you don't want to eat the bowl stop at the soup the soup's good enough so yeah so, let me see. I don't really want to cover too much in one episode to get your brains full, so... Huh. Well, I guess that's enough. I guess that's a, just a small tutorial on mushrooms for you. Let's get down to what I want, what I wanted to do today. So, first, we don't want to leave this open because mobs can come in here and bite our heads off. And, yeah, that's, that's never good. So what I want to do, I'm really sorry for the lag, um, I'd try to reduce it, but I'd like the, um, graphics on. I don't like leaving trees up. It just bugs the crap out of me. Oh my god, uh, let me see if I can do something about this. And I'll I'm right back. back, I did as much as I could, it, it's a little bit less laggy, chunks are still rendering. Okay. So, I'm a, you know what, we don't, never mind, I'm just gonna change the wait 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 this should be sorry about that I'm just gonna change it to short we're not gonna be doing much outside so yeah so what I want to do is mobs get in here and eat us while we're just trying to hide in the corner saying leave us alone and then they just grab us they eat us it's not really that good I see I hate it I can't see the Sun I don't know what time it is so but I know it's late so what we want to do is and there's an old tactic to Minecraft that you can do, and it's just hide yourself like that. Well, I don't like doing that because then you can't see what's outside and what time it is. So, there's this cool little item called a door. And it's a one door, and they're not stackable. So, you have one, you can only hold one. And you just place it like this. And then, like you're placing a block, that's how you open and close. So... Yeah. So, okay. And then the door tactics is if you place it from this side, it'll go on the side closest to you. Say you place it on this side, it'll go this way. And sorry about that. Um, I thought I could do that way. Uh, just curious. Wait, just curious for this. No. Nope, okay. So yeah. So that's doors for you. Um. God, it's getting dark, and I don't have any. Uh, I don't like this. Really don't like this. Oh no, they're spawning. Yeah, we're, we're staying inside. <coughs> if I might, mobs don't spawn like within a couple blocks of you, so I think if we stay in here, we'll be safe. So, 
well, I didn't want to really necessarily show this to you. Oh, crap. I didn't want to show this to you, but I guess I will since we're stuck in here without any light. So, mobs, those things. Wait, where are they? That That's that's a mob. That That's a mob. They will spawn anywhere where it's dark. So, you want to make your house light because you don't want to be coming home, walk in, and there's a bunch of mo monsters having a rave in there. And then they just kill you. Yeah, it's not good. So what you want to do is to make torches. And to make torches, you need either coal, which you can get from mining, which I'm going to show you in a second, or charcoal, which you can get from doing this. Making a furnace. And a furnace isn't just used to make charcoal. It's used to make, to smelt any ore that you might find, or to turn cobblestone into stone. Or nether rack into nether brick, and those are all be future tutorials today. It's just so what you want to do is you want to put wood in there, not wooden planks, actual wood in there, and then put that in there, and it smelts it down, bakes it. Okay, I do have six, <coughs> and then makes charcoal. Then you take charcoal out, you put a stick, and then you put charcoal, and you get torches and torches are used to brighten up things and the stove also brightens up things but only as long as it's cooking so I said as soon as it's done cooking you know it's gonna go dark watch oh wait yeah I forgot the torches are up but yeah had the torches not been up it would have went totally dark so I'm just gonna make a couple torches as many as I can 10 10 torches is enough put one out here so I don't get lost had I have I go outside that's a mob right there. Oh, f that's a mob over there. I don't know if you can see that, but that's an Enderman. That's not good. So, right now, what time is it? How, how long is this video? I don't know. So, I guess I'll just teach the basics of mining. Right now, a, a wooden pickaxe mines slight- er, No, a stone pickaxe mines slightly faster than a wooden pickaxe. And so on, the better that your pickaxe pickaxes get. So, yeah, you just mine and you mine. And what we want to do is, oh, coal! Wow, that was. So this is coal. So what you want to do is you want to mine it. You can mine it with any tool: wooden, stone, gold, iron, any tool, and you get coal. And you get one piece of coal per ore. Unless you have fortune, which again, future episode. <coughs> so you just want to mine it. And then, um, I believe they spawn into, up to groups of 24. That may or may not be wrong. Um, I'll put a little sub caption right about there, what the actual number is. Oh, yeah, while we're mining, I want to display the two most expressed rules of Minecraft. One, never, never, ever, ever, ever mine down. Straight down. Never do that. Never mine straight down. That is the first rule. Second rule is never mine straight up. And the reason you... Oh, oh, iron. Hey, that's cool. Let me just... Oh, yeah, they have, I always forget that they added spawn slimes in 1.4. <coughs> Sorry about that. So... You never want to mine straight down because you can be mining down, going looking for um, diamond, and then you break through into a cavern or you fall into lava or something like that. And you never really want to mine up because if you mine straight up, there might be a cavern above you and a creeper, and then a creeper falls down on you, explodes. That's not good. It's never good when a creeper explodes. So, yeah, th those aren't smart rules. So, yeah, I was. Well, that was luck I found. Cool. So I'm gonna make a couple. Just turn these down so we don't need charcoal. I'll make. There we go. Wait. Coal. And I made torches. So. <coughs> coal is also used as smelting. And one piece of coal can smelt eight objects. And I probably should go over that. Oh, at least as much as I know. Oak planks smelt 1.5. Objects. So, say you put one, one in there, it'll smelt one item, and then it will go halfway. Then it will just stop, and it won't finish. 
So if you put two in there, three items will get smelted. If you put eight items in there with coal, eight items will get smelted. So I'm really, I, I use that a lot. So sorry if I'm a little bit over about that. Okay, so let's get this iron. <coughs> now iron, if I'm right, can spawn into groups of eight. Maybe a little bit more. Maybe up to ten, maybe even up to twelve. But I usually find it in groups of eight. So I got six, and six is pretty good because we want to smelt it. So we put it in there, and then it takes one piece of coal away, gives it a little bit of flame, and it cooks the iron. So, um, okay. Just trying to think here. This is odd. Uh, I don't like awkwardly shaped caverns. It bugs me. It really bugs crap out of me. I'm sorry about that. Oh, okay. And just while that's melting, I guess. Yeah, and then we'll just go that way or something. <coughs> so yeah, we're just waiting for it to smelt. Okay. I know most people. His first objective is when you get iron is a pickaxe or a sword. Well. Mine isn't, and especially in this episode, it's, or not this episode, this world, it's true. Because with these and a little bit of bones, we can do a lot. But to get bones, we're going to have to, oh my god, that scared the crap out of me. Oh, I'm sorry about that. To get bones, we're going to need skeletons. He has a sapling. No. No. Don't knock at the door. No one's home. Oh, by the way, zombies can tear down your door, but if I'm right, it's only in hard mode. So, let's see if he does. Yep, it's only in hard mode. <coughs> Wait, did he just... Oh, I thought he dropped a carrot. I was going to go, wow, that's a rare drop. So, yeah. So, now we have iron. The first thing I would make, personally, would be a bucket. And with buckets, we can gather water, which, um, I guess a future episode, because I just really, it's kind of a little bit weird setup. It's, I'm not used to this kind of setup. So, um, I think that's all. It will be a short episode, I guess. So, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Uh, bye.